Hey there, Daniel Kelly from View School here with another Mighty Byte video that I think you're really going to enjoy. So what do we have here? Well, over on the left hand side, I've got a Meals Reactive Ref Define with some of my favorite foods in there. Now, if it looks like the foods list of a little kid, uh, don't judge me. This is what I like. All right. Down here inside of the template, we have a UL and then we've got an LI printed out for each of the meals inside of uh, inside of that meals array. Right over on the right hand side, you can see the result of that and it's pretty simple. But I'd really like to be able to move tacos to the top of that list. And I want to do it without touching the code. What I really want is is to be able to drag and drop each of the items within this favorite food list and order it however I desire. OK, so the question is, how do you create a drag and drop interface with Vue.js? Well, the solution is actually pretty simple. There's this really awesome library we can install called Vue Draggable. So let me do that down inside my terminal. I'll type npm install Vue Draggable at next. All right, then at next is important here because that's what's compatible with Vue 3. Now I'll import a draggable component from view draggable. And then down inside of my template, instead of looping over all my meals manually like this in a UL, let me instead use that draggable component. Now the draggable component takes for a V model an array of the items that you want to be draggable. So for us, that is meals. And then we'll also define the tag for the draggable as that UL, because we want to emulate the same thing we were just doing. OK. Now, inside of here, we're going to have to add a uh, item slot. And you can see that in this nasty error over here. OK, it says error draggable element must have an item slot. So let's do that. We'll type out template here. And then we'll target the item slot. Now this item slot receives a context that includes the element, the individual element. Um, that is essentially in our case, each individual meal. So let me rename element here to meal. Now that's totally optional. You could just work with it as element at this point, but I like to rename things to make them semantic. And then we can print out the meals and the allies just like we did before. All right. Whoops. Now I put li there because I was saying li at the time I was typing it. Let me change that to meal. Much better. All right. Now over on the right hand side, sure enough, if I take tacos, I can drag it up to the top of my list. And yeah, that just feels so much better to have that delicious, yummy taco at the top with all the cheese and the wonderful beef and the lettuce. Oh man, my mouth is watering just thinking about it. All right, so that's how easy it is to create drag and drop interfaces with Vue.js and the Vue Draggable library. I hope you've enjoyed this Mighty Bite, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the conference. 